yes, it, it, it's true. I, I have two babies, and, and Michael talked about it, and a lot of you don't have babies, so I'll just sort of explain the situation. First, um, first you push out the baby, <laughs> and then you push out the placenta, and then you're kind of just left with this hole, and pretty much anything that ever made you interesting as a person just falls right out of it. <laughs> but I really, I, I, I didn't mind at all, because I was just so impressed with what my body could do. No drugs. No drugs. <laughs> I was just really impressed, and, and, and so much so that, you know, when people asked how I was, you know, and they'd say, oh, well, how are you, Laura? How are you? And I'd say, how am I? I'm amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Behold all that is I, for I have squeezed a life form out of a very tiny aperture. <laughs> and she found out I've got a series of shows coming up. She said, are you going to do animal noises? And I said, what? And she said, no, you must do animal noises. And I said, I must. And she said, yes, people love animal noises. <laughs> <laughs> love them. And I said, oh, like, like what? And she said, like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you know, playing along, I said, oh, is that a, is that a tiger? And she went, no, that's a jaguar. <laughs> this is a tiger. <laughs> so there's a difference, people. And I'm glad that I now know she's right, and people love animal noises. <laughs> um, yes, they do. Um, and the other thing she's very exactly, this is my older daughter, my, my younger daughter doesn't talk yet. And I am so thankful for that. <laughs> when you're like, talk, 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 and you're telling the word. Um, if my second one stays silent for 18 years, I get the drop. But my other one is she's very, very exacting about her clothes, too. So what day in the Christian calendar is so exciting for a little girl? But Easter, because yes. you get your Easter dress. And she had one that was fantastic. It was, it was silk. And it was dry clean only for a four-year-old. <laughs> it was that fantastic. She was all gussied up, and she behaved like the most horrendous little terror, <laughs> a horrible little wretch. And you have to, to stay on your toes on, on how to discipline them because you, you've, you've got to surprise them all the time. <laughs> here, here, and, uh, and you got to not beat them, even though you want to. <laughs> you want to, but you don't. But you think about. <laughs> I've gone through nights not beating my children by just pretending that Child Protective Services has closed circuit televisions looking at me. <laughs> That's what gets me through not beating my children. <laughs> she was just being such a horrible wretch that I finally got to the point I said, If you do not behave, I will take off that dress and I will make you wear something unattractive. <laughs> and she just went, you can't, Mama, you can't make me wear anything unattractive. And then she got a little bit adamant about it. She said, you can't make me wear anything unattractive. And I said, oh, can't I? And then I got really good. I said, if you don't stop this behavior, I will take off that dress and I will make you go to church in shorts and a tank top. <laughs> so she kind of went, <laughs> and I said, oh, you watch. Not only a tank top, but you'll be carrying a 40 ounce and having a cigarette <laughs> and slippers and two curls. Yes, that's how I'm going to discipline my children by sending them to church looking like trailer trash. 